What is up and welcome to another hot take where we chill out and listen to some music together and get to decide what we think. I'm Toby, aka Cushing from the TND channel. Make sure you check out everything we do. And today we're gonna be looking at the Marcus King band. So they're ones again I've just heard a lot of hype about. Um, and I wanted to see what they were doing. So we're gonna watch uh their performance uh in Jam in a Van, which is a sweet series. And I wanted to look at them first on Wiki. We've got, so Marcus King, of course, leads it. Uh, he's from Greenville, South Carolina. I assume that's where they got started. And they have a bunch of members, but I guess the most noteworthy would be Dane Farnsworth of Robert Randolph and the Family Band. So that's pretty cool. I noticed that they uh, released one song, 2015, so... Let's see, they started, what, 2013 here? Um, and then 2015, pretty quick, they released a song on Warren Haynes's, uh record label, I guess, Evil Teen Records, which I've never heard of and which is a weird name, kind of. And then you've got their second album next, the next year from Fantasy Records in 2016. So they... Uh, they blew up pretty quick. They got there fast. And let's go check out one of their songs here called Rita is Gone. Hey, we're the Marcus King Band. This is Jam in the Van, and this is a tune called Rita is Gone. Uh, just about the music so far uh, it's hard to put uh, my finger on it it does sound like uh it's not like the new new age kind of funk jam though it's uh it's a little more slowed down it's more relaxed uh i don't even know how to break that down like it's got a little slow new orleans feel with the horns and uh it's half timed out which makes me go more like r&b so it's you know it's it's kind of like a funk R&B so far is where I would put that beat, you know? But... Mm. Yeah. He's got... I, I was going to say, like, Van Morrison if he went R&B or something. Like, I can hear a little bit of that in there. And then I hear just a, a that raspy voice, man. Uh, it does it does do something for me. I do love this type of music. Like, modern R&B is probably my favorite type of music. And this is just, like, its origins, you know. And so I respect that shit. I thought it was going to be a lot more Southern. I'm going to tell you, like, I haven't listened to them yet. And... uh I assumed it was kind of some like like the Warren Haynes shit. I thought it was going to be more like Southern rock, you know? So I'm kind of thrown off. It's got an 80s love song vibe, too. The changes in that bridge, of course, brought out some more like soul, um, some soul feeling of uh, from that R and B, and then it also had a, you know some Motown kind of sounds too. It's working all in some good areas for me, though. I will say that. Shut up. 
weird. Like, I was uh, just w- doing one on uh, Greta Van Fleet, and uh, I was talking about how the singer from that band and Billy Strings kind of sounded too close to their um, their influences for me to get into it. It kind of threw me off. And it's weird listening to him because he also sounds like a lot of different people, but it doesn't bother me as much. Maybe I just like the style he's imitating more. That's It's got to be something simple like that, but this is some love-making music, you know? <laughs> impressive it definitely reminds me of like what came to mind was uh, um saint paul and the broken bones i think was the name uh they they kind of sound like a a more like a smaller version of that band you know uh definitely take a lot from it but they both have that soul feeling that i like and, and again they did add a little more grit to it i think by the way he plays guitar you know and his tone um but it's it's got a lot of good in it I I would say I I just can't put my finger on who whose voice he sounds like exactly. That's why I keeps uh I keep stumbling. Let me know what what it is that I'm trying to think of whose voice that sounds exactly like because it sounds so familiar. And that's that can be a good thing, but I don't know. I just want to hear something new like Uh, I mean, I will say uh, it's a little harsh to say that just because, like, this is uh, it's original writing, and it is a little complex. Like, there is some complexities to it that are nice. So I do enjoy the writing of it. For me, it's just like, I guess after I do a few of these and hear a lot of new music I hear, that it's just hard to find something outside of a realm that you've heard before, almost impossible, right? And we, And everybody just ends up doing something that uh is already in people's ears right and so it's hard to judge but it it also is like i want to keep on the search for the new sound i want to keep on the search i know that's stupid but i want to find um eventually through my own music but also through other bands i want to find new areas that my ears haven't really heard before you know and i think they could take this to i say this with a lot of bands i think they could take this to a new level with like have somebody on a computer there. Like, I don't know how else to tell you. Like, um, just have something that this type of music hasn't seen before in it, you know? Um, but, uh, see, I don't know. I would fucking drop, like, when they drop, you drop fucking extra drums, you drop 808s, you drop fucking uh, some extra synth sounds, you have some... Uh, electronic aspects added into it or something you know that shit would be cool to me but 
but that's also not what everybody wants to hear. So. <laughs> Got a very, very rock jazzy way of playing. Well, see, this was fun to check out them. It's it's funny how I just like can't find music that I really love ever, you know, because even this, like, honestly, this is one of the better bands I've heard recently. And this is a band that if they were at a festival, I'd love to like fucking midday drink a beer and listen to this. You know, it sounds great. Um, but, you know, I guess I'm just obsessed with like, finding something i haven't heard and it's it's fucking hard to uh be judgmental really then because it's about how talented they are and they are so the songwriting's great uh the band's good let me know what you think of the marcus king band you know i bet you fucking love them i bet it's not as hard for you to listen to music but um i love you for that you know that's one of my sayings now um so make sure to check out everything else we do. Check out our Patreon. We have another show on there where we watch new music videos and rate them. And it's a game show, you know. And uh, we break down Grateful Dead lyrics on a different show. We watch movies. We do all kinds of stuff. So go check that out if you haven't. And uh, make sure to check out my music, Cushing. You know, I talk shit about all these other people. And, you know, I still haven't gotten my sound down. I've worked years on it. And, it, you know, it's what happens. You just keep putting out shit that you love, you know, until it works. So that's what that's what it comes down to. But uh, if you want to check that out, Cushing under Spotify and this channel as well. And lastly, check out Real Bird, which is our company. Uh, it's a cult. You can get that on your chest. It's a cult right here. And freak out everyone you see, and they'll love you for that. And I love you for that, and I will talk to you soon. Not on the phone, but, you know, over the Internet. Bye.